Hi Kevin, um, I wanted to let you know that I'm a parent myself and I was considering tuition um, and there's just a few frequently asked questions that I know you get asked and I wanted to ask myself as a parent um, all about tuition and whether it's right for me. Absolutely, you go for it. Um, how many students do you have in a group? So as a company, we limit our group sizes to six. We limit them because we know that six is a really great number for collaborative learning. It allows for the children to sort of pair up when they're doing a similar question. If the whole group's doing the same question, the whole group will talk about it. But it also gives time for the children just to sit back and reflect and have a go themselves. And then it allows the tutor enough time to get around every child and give them that individual time as well. So six is a really great number to get all those things working. Absolutely, but how can the tutor make sure that they meet my child's needs if they're in a group? That's a very, very common question and it's really clear to me. I only work with qualified teachers as my tutors. So you're getting the subject specialist who's used to working in the classroom with 30 to 35 children. So that's a big group of children and they're capable of getting progress and interacting with all those children. They've got the skills to do that. Now you bring that down to just six children and my tutors absolutely smash it week in, week out. They love being there. They're doing the, the, the pure part of teaching. You know, they haven't got the paperwork and all the rest of it that goes with it. They've literally got the teaching of your child to do. And you give them a small group of six children in their expert subject and they absolutely fly with it. I've sometimes noticed that in your sessions you might not always have six students. What if you have two or three? Do you still have to pay the same? Yep, it doesn't matter whether there are six, five, two, one. If we've got a group and you join it, the price you see is the price that you pay. Fantastic. I was wondering, um, it's really important that my child gets homework, but do you as a tuition company set homework? Not directly. I would never ask a child to leave a tuition session and set them homework. It's not what we stand for. It's not what we're about. However, what we say is the children get the most out of it when there's a two-way conversation. So, for example, I've had parents this year come to me and say, my son is struggling with this. I've had a conversation with his English teacher, for example, and he needs to work on use of modal verbs. Just plucking out an example. But use of modal verbs is something that's come back from school that he's not doing well. Could you drop that into the sessions? Fantastic. I then take that to that child's tutor and say, that's what the parents ask for, and also the children as well. You know, they say, look, I know we've got algebra coming up in class in the next couple of weeks. Could we do a bit more focus on that? And what happens is my tutor goes away, gets a selection of questions and tasks and all the various things that they do during the session for that exact thing. So that way, it's all about pivoting for what the child needs. And that's how we get such great progress. Mm. We're not tied to a curriculum. We're tied to what the child needs. That's the progress. It sounds like a student-led approach. Absolutely, because at the end of the day, as a parent, I want you to know the quality of what we do. Price is important. I'm not going to sit here and pretend it isn't. You, you are paying really good money for really good tuition. But at the end of the day, once you've decided that you trust me and my team of tutors and connects us as a company, it's all down to the young person to learn. So why wouldn't it be so student-led? If we're talking about costs and everything, how much does it cost then? How much is this going to cost me for your quality service? So our standard price online is £20 an hour. And our standard price, if you do our, our core English and Maths two-hour sessions, they're £32 for two hours. So that means you are getting an English specialist trained teacher, a Maths specialist trained teacher for £16 an hour. And I think that compares anywhere. Primary slightly cheaper, we do hour and a half sessions that are £22. But in general, you're looking at £16 an hour for secondary expert tuition, or 20 if you want the convenience of online. Brilliant. So if I do decide to go ahead, I'm, you know, I'm getting really tempted now by everything that you're saying. How long am I going to be tied in for? Again, another really really common question and i totally understand it like yourself i'm a parent and i want to know the terms and conditions so we charge by the half term so you pay up front at the start of that half term so 
the average length of a half term is six weeks. There may be one that's slightly longer, slightly shorter, depends on the school. But if we go with six weeks as your standard half term, you pay that six weeks up front. If for any reason you get to the end of those six weeks and you're not in a position to carry on, that's it. You just let me know and we don't put any more payments through. But I've got to say over this last 12 months, I can think of very, very few children who've come on board and not wanted to stay. And in general, it's more of a logistics time, place, other commitments. So that's why we started doing online because that's just that bit more flexible and um, just to add to the different days of the week we've got in person. Absolutely, and this sounds fantastic. So what if I wanted them to not just do turn time? What if I wanted them to do the holidays as well? Absolutely. I think the key holiday, if you're looking at exam preparation, which is one of the key things that we do, preparing children to hit those grades, to exceed those grades, going above and beyond their expectations, your Easter half term is the, the, the key point, and perhaps the half term before that. So over those two half terms, but particularly Easter half term, we put on additional uh, sessions during the half term. So that gives them a really great introduction to the, um, the GCSE and the SATs exam period. Um, last year, we ended up sitting outside, Hutton Village Hall was one of them, and we ended up doing it in the sun. Sat there with the tables in the sun, a bunch of children who wanted to be there because they wanted to learn. Okay. Um, I've noticed that you've started employing new tutors and covering more subjects. So what subjects do you actually offer as a service? So our, our core classes are English and Maths. That's what we do in situ in the classes. Now, we've had a fantastic response to our classes this year. So we've expanded. So on top of Hutton, Longton and Cotton in PR4, you've now got Watling Street Road and near Preston Grasshoppers, both in Methodist churches in Fullwood. You've also got PR3, where we've opened Longridge and Garstan classes. So we've got a really great reach of our maths and English core classes. Online, we still do the maths and English, if that's your preferred way of doing it, if you're child's an online learner, great, jump on one of those. However, 11 plus, this time of year, we're taking on a brand new year five uh, cohort for 11 plus. We've got a very experienced 11 plus tutor who does all our own resources. So that's starting to fill as we speak. I've also got RE, History and Geography in a trio. You pick the parts that you want, the hours that you want between those three humanity subjects. I have a Spanish and German tutor, absolutely fabulous. She's just come on board. And for the first time, and I'm really pleased about this, we've got a science tutor who's going to do trilogy science one night a week. And that's three hours of the three sciences all in one go, get in there online, get it done, all in one sweet payment and fantastic. So those are what we're offering for now, as well as primary online, but watch this space. If there's enough interest in it, we'll start tutoring it because I can provide you with the really, really great outcomes that you want. This all sounds fantastic and I'm actually really impressed with you and your company. Thanks, John. Um, I was wondering, what's my next steps? How do I actually get in touch? Okay, so this is a really interesting one. My phone number will be somewhere around here, about now, along with my social contacts. We are on Facebook. That's the best place to find us in terms of the detail. However, we're also on Instagram. We're on TikTok. You've probably a good chance you're watching this on YouTube. You will find us all across social networks. Easiest way, if you want to WhatsApp me, if you want to call, if you want to send a message, do it on whichever platform you're most comfortable with. It comes directly to me, so you'll always get to speak to me, ask me any questions you want directly. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much for your time and I look forward to speaking to you. You're yeah. very welcome and I'm looking forward to speaking to all the parents out there and getting your children the results they want. Mm -hmm. Bye now.